Hi guys, so uh, this video is about my strobe knowledge base and my strobe calculator. So I started on Patreon a knowledge base about uh, strobe photography and wet plate. And uh, if you're a member of the second tier, you can also have or you also have access to the strobe calculator. In the calculator, you see the light modifiers and how to uh, affect uh, the subject. So you can see the impact, you can see each images of that. And uh, you can also calculate how much strobe power you need for wet plate with which modifier. Uh, and uh, I think it's really helpful. I'll use it by myself for the shooting. So if I change a light modifier, I just open my calculator and see, okay, how much more power do I need for this light modifier? Or if I use a grid, a grid if I use a grid, how much uh, light I need, uh, need for that modifier? Uh, and this is something I will uh, extend all the time. So I will add uh, other light modifiers. So it makes more sense for you. And I also will uh, add articles to the knowledge base. So right now it's on Patreon. And I think for the next time it's going to stay there. So what can you expect from uh, the uh, knowledge base? Uh, for example, I had a long talk uh, with Hansel yesterday. And uh, I learned that not only more power can increase, uh, make a better exposure, uh, also less power sometimes can make a, a better exposure. So more about that uh, in uh, the article there. And this is something I really want to uh, extend as much as possible. And uh, with that, I hope I can uh, help a lot of people because for me, it's helpful as well. I shoot often with the same softbox and when I change to another light modifier, I have to think again how much more, how much less light I need. And right now I'm just going to the calculator and put in the light modifier and see exactly how much power I need. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, here you will also find there the whole video where I captured all the different light modifiers and explained uh, what's the difference with the light modifiers and I measured them all uh, also. This is also included. So yeah, if you want to support me there and if you want to have a quick way to find out how much power you need, uh, then this could be very helpful for you. And there's one more thing I want to show you. Uh, I hope you can see this, these plates here. Yeah. And these were all shot with uh, 700 watts. And honestly, I could even shoot them with less of 600 watts. You will see the light modifier there. You will see also the video where I talk about it. But to be honest, the easiest way to figure everything out is to uh, use uh, the strobe calculator. So we will put them in here. As said, this was a very short video. I hope it's very, very helpful for you guys. And so it's not over now. I want to say thanks to all my patrons. And for that, I'm going to read every single name. So some of the names going to be very funny for me to pronounce. So I'm sorry already if I, if I, uh, mispronounce them, but the, yeah, it's going to be fun. So thanks, Martin Siegel, Nicholas Myers, Peter Cox, Ian Bray, Nolan Lister. Uh, there we have the first one, Nolan Lister, Nolan Lister. Flipboard, thanks for Flipboard. Uh, follow my uh, Flipboard magazine, uh, The Wetlit Conversations. It's pretty cool. Uh, Angel Smale, Katsuki Michal, John Ashton Keller, Nico Preuss. Now there comes a the name. I'm so sorry about the pronunciation, but I try my best. Britz Birgat Prasun. Maybe that was right. Camille uh, Swiderski. Uh, Simon Riddell, uh, Mark uh, Cornelson, and Nick. Thanks, all of you guys. And I'm sorry for the pronunciation, but I thought it's going to be fun if I pronounce you, pronounce you guys for once. Thanks for support uh, for your support, guys. And again, I'll be back, guys. <laughs>